this is me Ryan from Ryan Studios. I'm back with another video and um, this is not one that I am intending to make. I don't really want to make this video but I am just for the sake of my channel and so there's the new policy on YouTube. It's not coming immediately. It's coming I think um, in January but basically you can't make any money off of videos at all uh, if you're like if it's for YouTube kids. So if this is on YouTube Kids, I really don't know because I don't have the app and I never have ever had the app. But basically it means that you can't make money off of YouTube and you can't see comments, you can't see any anal analytics like um, likes and subscribe, who is subscribed and all of that, which is, you know, the main thing that I do my channel for. I like um, to see what people think about my stuff, any things I need to do. Um, and I, I know I'm very open with comments and I listen to everybody, but it, I'm trying to make my channel not for kids. Now, YouTube Kids is basically recommended from, like, ages zero, even though they shouldn't be watching YouTube at, like, zero, because, you know, it's not very good for your health watching many, many videos that young, but, um, it's, me it's meant for little kids, like, six-year-olds, not even, um, but, it's my channel is not for six year olds. I my main demographic is from like ten year olds to maybe high schoolers and sometimes adults maybe if they want to watch this that's fine. I really don't care. Um, but it's not for meant for kids. My and YouTube if you're watching this, I don't want to be on YouTube Kids at all. I'm, it's not my interest. And I'm I'm sure that there's at least one person out there that's seen one of my videos. Um, that has YouTube kids and like I if I make 50 less views per week for not for not being on YouTube kids that's something I'm willing to sacrifice like it's 50 views I get f at least a thousand or so not even not even a thousand a week but anyways um so my one of my reasons behind this is because so I may mostly collect Star Wars, Harry Potter, and once in a while, like, a different theme. Such a, let's just say Jurassic World for this example. So now, the past six Star Wars movies have been PG-13. Now, you're, I know you're like, oh, but there's six-year-olds that go to see the movies. Yeah, that's the parents, like, kind of, like, it's up to the parents. It's not up to the movie company or whatever. Like, if you're, it's a rated R movie, of course you have to see an ID and stuff. Or if it's NC-17, you can't be allowed un unless you're 18. But um, it's they're all they've been PG-13 for the past since episode three, basically. And I and there's yeah, it's just for violence, and sometimes they say hell or damn once in a while or something. But it's not meant for kids. And also in episode three, you see a human body being burned up from lava after being cut in half that is gruesome and violent and the scene just like i remember watching that when i was like i don't know when it was the first i was like five i was like five when i watched that movie i'm like oh my god and like even like with harry potter i know they're the first three movies were pg but after that they were pg-13 because there have been characters that have gotten like their shoulders cut off it's from the deathly hollows characters being ripped open by werewolves and the part definitely hollows part two like and like and there's like the water zombies or whatever from the sixth one like those are the kind of things that it's like and then in jurassic world for example the new movie that came out just uh, over a year ago that movie was pg-13 yet again i still like i don't know if i really made videos on this but like i they there's so many gruesome things in there. Like, there's dinosaurs being blown up into bits from lava. There's, um, one guy got his head decapitated or something. Uh, yeah, this guy got his arm ripped off from the Indoraptor. Spoiler alert, but the movie, it's, it's not that important to the plot or anything. But, like, it's, it's violent and gruesome. And, like, I don't want to say have every video gruesome because there's no reason for me to do that. And same with cursing. Like, I... If I say, um, hell in one of the videos, is like, unless, like, I'm not gonna say it just to say it, I would say it for, like, a reason or something to, or to exaggerate something, but, like, I don't need to say it, it's not ne necessary, necessary, but my videos, just because they have, they're 
Lego. Really doesn't mean they have to be on YouTube Kids. I don't think this is on YouTube Kids, uh, mainly because like I've played Battle for a few videos, and that's you know it's a game that's for um, fourteen a plus or whatever. But like it's not for YouTube Kids, and I've shown like I I did um I, I did a couple movie videos like just talking about movies, and there's like clips from the movie, and those were violent. I, and I know it's per video now, too, which I really don't know what to do. Like, it's, I, I have to email Lego or something, or not Lego, sorry, YouTube, because YouTube is just, they're just wanting to shield kids um, from the real world, and that's bad because kids need to know what's going on. Like, there's some things that kids, of course, are going to know what's going on, like, um, like back in 9-11, which I wasn't born by then yet, that was... A couple years after but like of course every kid knew about that because that was worldwide but something super small like maybe there was a bombing somewhere in like Kansas which I'm not saying go bomb something I don't want anybody to bomb anything because that's uh take it straight to hell but I um like I, kids just need to know about this stuff just to know what the real world is now there's some there's certain things out there um, which I'm not gonna talk about because I never want to get into that stuff ever um, on onto my channel. I never want to talk about it because number one, it's uncomfortable to talk about to um, a bunch of people. But also, like, it's not my main point of having my YouTube channel. My main point of having my YouTube channel is to share what I do Lego wise and to share my opinions and thoughts and what I do as a content creator. And I'm, my purpose is to entertain people. And now the, the my main demographic is like 10 and up. That's, but I don't think anybody, unless their parents were super protective, would have YouTube kids at all. And there, I know this is gonna straight up affect at least half of the Lego community. Because what Lego is, or sorry, I'm like, okay. What YouTube is doing here, and I am going to not edit this at all. This is gonna be unedited, unless me putting my intro and end screen thing. But what YouTube is doing here is r taking people's jobs, basically. People are, live off of YouTube. They make money off of it so that they get support, like a family, like Brickitect. The reason I'm doing this video is because I got, like, a little slap in the face when I was watching his videos. Like, I knew that this was a deal. I just thought it was for the entire channel, not per video, which is the main thing. Like, I don't really know what to do um, if, say, I review a... Darth Vader minifigure from Minifig Monday, which is not the minifigure next week, or this Monday, but, like, what, what am I gonna say, like, he cut someone in half and force chokes people, like, I'm not just gonna say that because of the YouTube thing, that just doesn't make any sense and it's kind of absurd, but I really have no idea what I'm gonna do, of course I don't have to worry about this for now, it's, it, I'll, it'll probably all roll over in a few months, which... You know, I said about the Spider-Man thing. Oh, and my, I'm, okay, let's just talk about the Spider-Man thing real quick. I understand what Sony was doing. They're just threatening Disney, which is not okay. You shouldn't threaten another company. Like, they're not, like, saying something like that they're going to harm each other. But I'm, they're, like, threat, like, Spider-Man was the best thing that the MCU has ever happened to the MCU since it started with the first Iron Man. And... The fact that Spider-Man has become such a fan favorite, like, ever, I was, like, the, my first MCU movie, I, I got hooked to Marvel in 2014 with Guardians of the Galaxy, and ever since then, I've, you know, seen every single Marvel movie except for the first Ant-Man and Captain Marvel, because I just haven't gotten around to it, but it's a main part of my life, it's completely changed my life, because, you know, I see things a different way sometimes with, after I see a Marvel movie, I'm like, wow. You, like, f after the first Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm like, wow, friendship's really important. Like, I already knew that, but it, I really don't know how I got over here to this talking, but, um, yeah, Spider-Man, uh, he's not in the MCU, um, he's probably, like, it's a shot in the dark, I don't know if he's coming back or not, like, I, if he comes back, I will be very 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 happy but like the only like just because a movie that disney basically made for sony 
gets a billion dollars doesn't mean you have to pull Spider-Man from the MCU. Because the next time Sony makes a Spider-Man film by themselves, it's not going to be very good. Like, yes, it's going to be an association with Marvel, such as, like, Venom, but it's never going to be this. Spider-Man, like, you can't not say that Spider-Man was never fighting Thanos. Like, he was never snapped away from existence because that influ that like changes Peter Parker and I don't I don't think that they should do a Spider-Man 3 if Sony were to completely remove Spider-Man from the MCU and if I, they did Tom Holland I know you're never gonna watch this in your life but if you if for some reason are which if you are please comment I would I would very much appreciate that just don't do it just don't do that because you have been the best you know, Tom Holland has been the best Spider-Man that the, that the world has ever seen. Now, I haven't seen the cartoon, so I can't really say that, but on, on screen, on the big screen, he's the best Spider-Man. He's 100 times better than Tobey Maguire and um, the other guy. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I'll probably remember it as I'm uploading the video, but like it's he's completely changed how mar he's completely changed marvel he's made it a basically a brighter place because think about it the first iron man included terrorists which was bad and now just by saying terrorist i'm probably this video is probably gonna get like monetized just because i said that but anyways i think that's gonna do it for this video guys i didn't want to make this video at all um i'm i really don't know what the title of this video I'm not going to title it, but um, yeah, this video is going to be just about almost 12 and a half minutes long, and I was only expecting to make a three minute video, but yes, videos will still come out, yes, I'll still be very happy to make mocks, and, and if I don't, I always have a Discord, it's always in the description below, it's a very cool place, you get to see things very long before um, they make, I have a video on them, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Sorry if I'm pausing my breath for a few seconds because I am burping a lot because I just ate a lot of popcorn. But um, I hope you guys all enjoy your weekend and have a great day.